Oh, it likes us now. Hey, everybody, welcome to part two. I've, I've now made friends with a giant uh, hyena griffin thing called Trico. He's, uh, he's gonna be our new best friend. Let's see. So the tutorial says I have to call him. If I'm going to call him, well, I guess I'll lead him this way until I'm told to do something else. Other than that, I mean, oh, he, he responds, which is not something that's going to be prevalent throughout the game. But at the same time, I mean, supposedly, right? Supposedly. All right, the tutorials acknowledge I know how to do the thing. This is good, because, you know, we're advancing. Uh, the next thing I gotta do... Oh, I know what I gotta do. You see, he's got a leash. We don't want him on a leash, because how, how are we gonna go to the next part of the game, right? Also, I gotta climb up the butt, but hey, uh, I'm not complaining, because, I mean... Uh, honestly, when it comes to it, it's Shadow of the Colossus all over again, but it's better, because... Unlike in Shadow of the Colossus, where I just feel guilty all the time, I got a new BFF, who is essentially our Colossus-like entity, except he's not made of wood. He's he's a living, breathing hyena griffin. <laughs> well, I've unleashed him. And it doesn't seem like he wants to eat me, so this is fantastic in so many ways. Uh, also, he doesn't have the mask thing, and that's fine. Uh, now I gotta figure out what to do with Trico, which, if I recall, I need him to come over here. Because I do this, I can advance the plot, which is what we all want. Also, I really like how he has a... Yeah, he has like a stationary running animation. He looks so eager to get on with everything. I mean, he, he it's like me. I'm ready to go. Okay, alright. Also, it looks like I don't have to press a button to grab, which is fantastic. It was one of the minor complaints I have about Shadow of the Colossus, but it made sense. Uh, on the other hand, I do need to do this. And then, um... Then, you know, I'm gonna just feed Trico here some, uh, some barrels. Cause I love him dearly. He's my new BFF. He's, he's a giant silly, uh, he's a giant silly mythological creature. And honestly, this, this is my appeal, you know. The, the, for me, this is the real reason why I wanted to play the game so badly. Cause it's like, who, who doesn't want to be in this scenario? I remember when I was a kid. I want, dude, I'm jealous of this kid, because if I was a kid and I had a giant mythological beast as a BFF, I'd be in heaven. That would be my life. It'd be, it'd be amazing. Also, I need to get up here. I mean, there was some sides just showing me, go here. And so, with doing the, the thing, taking the hint, and, wow, it's really bright. But I'm not complaining, because you see, we need to get here. Because if memory serves, there is something around. Oh. Of course. The giant coffin-like thing. Actually, that's not a coffin. I, I, got, I got the mirror shield. Atu-u. Anigumav. Oh, it's a, it's me, I adamantium. Obviously. Also, I don't know, is this, is this like a, is this a, is that like a sarcophagus or something? Because, I mean, it seems pretty sealed away. So I just have to do that. Oh, I can't call him. I'm gonna get confused just a little bit. Maybe I could. Maybe I should have changed the controls, but I digress because uh, I just have to learn how to play the game and figure it out on my own. 
Also, I don't think I need the shield quite so... I don't need it quite yet. I'm gonna just continue onward, because really, there's not much else to say other than we gotta advance the plot, and I gotta be as confident as I can until, you know, I, I really get into the meat and potatoes of being blind and just being like, it's an adventure. I have no idea what I'm doing, and now it's regressed back into Ico. Because that's what happened in Ico. There's a lot of editing. I had to figure out what to do on my own. Half the time it was live, and it was embarrassing, because it's like I'm just going back and forth, not really sure what to do. Now I gotta manage that and a giant mythological beast. It's better than Yorda, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know. I've pretty much regressed into Yorda. Dude, man, you have some pretty trippy eyes. I, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it just a little bit. Whoa. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to get you the barrel, man. I'm trying to get you... The... Look, I'm going to just get you the barrel. Oh, I'm pressing the barrel. No. Oh. Fine. It, it don't matter. It don't matter. I was trying to get the barrel for you, and then I goofed up, and now I'm climbing your butt. <laughs> I don't know why... Forgive me, it just seems the mo like the most accessible place. I'm probably making this worse via what I'm saying, but screw it, I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. Alright, I'm... And now, with, with this super-powered team of me riding on my, my, uh... My griffin hyena pony, I'm gonna just go... Oh, oh yeah, I have the power! It's amazing. Also, I don't think it's really going to serve a purpose, so I'm. I... Did the barrel drop down? Oh, it totally did. I'ma just let me his barrel. He wants it, viewers. I can't. I, I don't want to ruin his his meal time. And yes, I admit it's probably not the most nutritious treat, but hey, he wants it. And I'm a kid, so I, I don't know anything about nutrition or any of the sort. All right. If memory serves, I gotta be able to direct him, and I know there is a way to do so. So I gotta figure out how to do that. That's a jump. Atu Muzi, a wizzy. But I want to go that way. Well, until I can figure this out, I'm going to do this old school by falling onto the ground, going over this way, calling his name, and then... Just, just waiting over here, cause I saw a glowing thing on top of this cliff, and I want it. I need it. I don't know what it is necessarily, but I, I want it. Also, you know what I found? I found the pet button. He, he didn't want me to pet him, but that's okay, cause I'm gonna pet him anyways. Cause I, I love my new pet. I love my new giant mythological pet. It's the best thing ever. I love you, Trico. Oh, I'm abusing the pet button. You can't stop me, viewers. This whole LP is going to be 50% petting. And, uh... I don't really know. I need to get up there, though. There you go. I knew you could do it. You're my best friend, Trico. 
friends for life. See, it's it's better than Shadow of the Colossus. Well, it's better in the aspect of friendship and pacifism. Uh, I don't know about gameplay. I haven't got that far. Did I totally bonk you? I'm sorry, Trico. Get your barrel. I got your wooden treat. High in fiber. He's trying to get it. He can get it. I know he can do it. You can do it, man. You, you got this. Do oh, he got it. He got it. I was thinking, does he need my help? He's going for it. He's going in for the kill. Here he goes. It's a build up, everybody. Oh, it's building up. It's, it's got this. He can figure it out. Oh, he's going for it. He's 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 ready to get. He, he's he, he's playing with it. Hey, it's all right. He's he's curious. He's he's trying to figure out what it does. It rolls. Yeah, it rolls. Aw. No, you you get it. You you need it. Yeah, he got it. Oh boy, give him a hand. He got it. Woo! Good job, Trico. Now, uh, now come over here so I can, I can jump on top of you. Oh, you're such a good boy. I love you so much. <laughs> I can't help it, viewers. I mean, it's, it's, it's some giant mythological beast. All right. Without further ado, let's head to, to adventure. Let's get out of here. I've wasted the whole entire part. Tried to explore. There's nothing in there. We got the barrel. It was a bonus barrel. We don't need to do it. I, I, I mean, you're, you're a good thing, but you're, you're a good mythological hyena griffin. It's, it's all good. I, I'm curious if you're based on a real life thing. Like a real life mythological beast. And by real life, I mean something in a book somewhere. I like a book of mythological creatures. Do I need to lead them old school? I know there is a way to actually lead them to lead them. I can't figure out what the button is. I was hoping to do this old school, you know, like we go and it's fantastic and and uh you know, stuff. Alright, so, failed attempt to try to figure out how to do the thing. I mean, Grant, I know. I, I'm just trying to figure out controls, and apparently, um, I, I, I don't really understand. But that's okay. Oh, can I pick, can I pick up the spear? I cannot pick up the spear. I have to rely on Trico. But that's okay, because I'm just going to go over here, and then I'm going to call my, my new BFF to, like, Get over here, and then obviously, I'm just gonna climb up his leg, try to avoid the butt. Because, I mean, it's embarrassing. I mean, is that gonna be the most of the LP? Just me climb, climbing up on his rear end, just being like, it's the only way that I know how to get up anywhere. But that's fine. Uh, because, really, it's not what I'm trying to portray. What I'm trying to portray is, you know, get on top of his thing. Be like, you're my best friend, just gonna give you a little pet. And then, I gotta avoid trying to hit the call button. I can't help it. I'm so used to Shadow the Colossus logic. Harnessing this destructive power of Trico. We made a passageway. I mean, I, I think I said let's go, and uh, that's what the tutorial was saying, right? Oh, he didn't like that. He knocked me off. Fine. All right, we'll head to. We'll head to victory. Victory and freedom. More like freedom. Freedom. I'm ahead to freedom. It took me two episodes to get out of the tutorial section, but I did it. I did it. I'm free, everybody. I'm free. Next time.
figuring out what freedom equals to and i'm gonna try to figure out if i can figure out the control button so that i no longer have to worry about trying to you know get off do this archaic style and yeah so next time actual success hopefully Thank you.